One of my favorite things to cook, short ribs. You go to restaurants, you try them, they've been cooking for hours and you're like, it's impossible to make this. Guess what? It's not impossible. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make the most easiest short ribs. Delicious, falling off the bone, filled with flavor. We're gonna add some natural ingredients. We're gonna add some red wine to give it that nice, hearty flavor. The nice short ribs, you buy them in the grocery store. They have these nice lines of fat right there. That's what makes it so soft, so falling off the bone. That's what gives it that nice flavor. And the bone, you don't wanna take off the bone because that's what gives this that hearty flavor. So we're gonna start cooking. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna sear these short ribs. We wanna get that nice, beautiful color. So how do we do that? We're gonna get some olive oil, throw it in our pan like this, and then we're gonna get our short ribs and put them side down, bone up. So we put them like that and we wanna hear a nice sear flavor. Remember, our goal is to get that nice, beautiful golden brown color right there. That's what we want right there. Because what that does is that it's gonna seal in the flavor, seal in the juices, and then it's gonna absorb everything else when we cook it. So we're gonna start by putting all of these short ribs face down, like this, bone up, bone up. Then we're gonna put season it with some salt. Black pepper. In the meantime, while this is searing, I'm gonna get started with my carrots. I'm gonna plate this short rib up with some carrots, some caramelized carrots, and with some potato puree that I made. The recipe on my website. I made a nice, creamy potato puree. What's the difference between a potato puree and a mashed potato? It's the amount of cream you put in it, so it's nice and smooth, and when you eat it with that short rib, all of those, all of those juices are just gonna, with the nice creaminess, mm gonna be golden. So we're gonna start with these carrots. Yes, people, there is carrots of different colors. We have purple carrots, we have yellow carrots, we have orange carrots, there's different types of carrots. So today I'm actually gonna use all three. So we're gonna start off by cutting the ends of each one. And we're gonna cut these ends right here. Look how nice they are. And I would like to use different color carrots. You can use orange, but I like to use different color carrots because it adds a nice little appearance to our dishes, you know. Colors, colors are part of the dish, the whole dish, the whole looking of the thing, it makes it more sexy. Mm. So we're gonna start by giving these a nice little peel so that it brings out those nice bright colors and we don't want the skin of the carrots like that. We don't want to cut those tips off, so be careful when you peel, don't peel too much. Peel just enough. One carrot. Two carrots. And our last carrot. Done. Our carrots are peeled. Look at these beautiful colors. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Beautiful carrots. Okay. So we're going to get these and we're going to slice them perfectly in half. If you can't slice it in half perfectly, slice it in half because it's part of our presentation. Look at that nice, beautiful sear color. That's exactly what we're looking for. Look at that. Look at that. So searing it like this is gonna give it, it's gonna lock in, lock in all of the juices. Look at that. That's perfect. Very important when cooking short ribs and when cooking any type of beef. You wanna make sure you sear all the sides. A lot of people just sear the top and the bottom. We still have the other side. So once we're done searing the bottom side, the bone side, we're gonna sear all sides to make sure that those juices don't escape. We wanna lock them up. Our carrots. I'm gonna get my pan, I'm gonna put some olive oil, and I'm gonna get my carrot and I'm gonna slice it carefully in half. Like that. Like that. And the last one. Like that. So once we cut them in half, we're gonna get some olive oil, a little olive oil, and we're gonna put our carrots face down. Like that. We're gonna put our carrots in there. We're gonna put some whole garlic cloves. We're gonna put a little salt, a little pepper. And we're gonna let that cook slowly. Slowly, so it gets a nice color.
Once our short rib has that beautiful sear, that beautiful color right there, we're ready. From there it's downhill, super easy. We're gonna add a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, 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 and that right there. So a little tomato, a little salt, a little pepper, very important, our rosemary, whole garlic cloves, a little basil. We're gonna add some beef stock and we're gonna add some red wine. And we're gonna add some rosemary. So some rosemary, some garlic, bay leaf, a little tomato, sauce, a little beef stock, and a little red wine. Once we add all of these ingredients, we're gonna let it cook slowly for one hour, one hour and a half, just leave it alone. Medium, low, medium, just leave it alone. Slowly, one hour and a half. When we're done, we end up with something beautiful like this. So, now we're ready. Look at these carrots. Look at this beautiful color it has. A nice little seared color. Look at those right there. What I like about using ingredients with different colors is that a lot of people haven't seen these things. So when they actually see it on their plate, they're like, hmm, I didn't know there was carrots that were purple. So it starts a nice conversation, also introduces them to all of the things that there is. So here we go, we're gonna start plating. We're gonna start off with this nice potato puree that our recipe is on the website. Now, you don't really have to use this type of white potato puree. You could use sweet potato, you could use beet uh, puree, anything you want. So today I wanted to do this because I think it's nice and simple and it's not gonna overpower the flavor of the short rib. So once you put a nice spoonful of the potato puree, you're gonna go like this and go in circles, like that. Circles, like that. And the art of plating is that you don't know what it looks like till the end, so be patient. I know it doesn't look that nice, but the art of plating is that with time, it's gonna look beautiful. So then we're gonna go with our, with our carrots right here, these nicely seared carrots. Like that, one down. We have another one. And we have one more like that. Maybe one more, why not? We have a nice piece of garlic right there. Bam. And then we're gonna go for the star of the dish, the short rib, here we go. Nice bone in. I like using two pieces. Gives it something nice to plate right there. Okay, so here we go. One short rib. The other short rib. Once we put our short rib, we wanna make sure we put some of this sauce right on top. Let it fall nice and naturally because food is not perfect. Nice and naturally like this. And then we're gonna finish it off with some of my microgreens on top. And there you go, you have a nice piece of restaurant style short rib right there, cooked in under two hours, filled with flavor. Now, my favorite time, short rib time. I love short ribs, so I'm super excited right here. So here we go, here we go. I'm sorry if I make some weird faces, you know? I get super excited when I'm eating food. So I'm gonna get a nice piece of short rib. Amazing. This is amazing. Like just cooking that for two hours, the flavor that it gives it, it just soaks it all up. And that's what I love about short ribs, that any flavor you put around it, just amazing. Now, sometimes we have too, too much leftover short ribs. Don't throw it away. Next day, you get some tacos, and you put the short ribs right there, and you put a nice pico de gallo on top, a nice little sauce, maybe a little bit of that garlic aioli I taught you how to make on the last video. Just throw it on top. Take a nice bite, delicious. If not, by the morning, you fry a nice egg and you serve it with some of that short rib, mmm, gold. 
amazing. If you like this recipe, share it. Use the hashtag cooking with Chris with all of your friends. I want to see what you're cooking. I want to see how this tastes. And I want to see if you added something different in there. Like, subscribe, and comment. Short ribs. Mm -hmm.